and a single nucleus. It contains single nucleus which is centrally located. These muscle lay striation. We know that in skeletal muscle we have strips so they are look striated and in smooth muscle we have no striation. Lay sarcomeres. We know that in skeletal muscle Bacteria and mycin are arranged between the two Z lines, and this uh, structure between the two Z lines is called sarcomere. So, in smooth muscle, there is no sarcomere; it lacks the sarcomere. Form and wall of the hollow organ and support vessel function. These muscles are found in the hollow organ, like intestines and urinary bladder, lungs while the, uh, the skeletal muscles are attached to the bone by tendon. Have poorly developed sarcoplasmic reticulum and leg tissues. As we know that in the skeletal muscle we have sarcoplasmic reticulum. In smooth muscle the sarcoplasmic reticulum are poorly developed and they are replaced by other structure we will discuss in the next slide and there are no thin tubules. Like troponin and instead they have thalmodulin. So this is a, a troponin complex which is not present in the uh, smooth muscle. Despite in, uh, in the smooth muscle, this complex is replaced by the thalmodulin. And there are slowly contracting muscle. Smooth muscle contains three types of filaments. One is a thin, a, a thin actin, try to dense body similar to the Z lines. These are the actin filaments which are attached to the dense body and the dense body is similar to the Z line. Thick myosin, which are larger than in the skeletal muscle. These filaments are the myosin filaments are much larger than in skeletal muscle. Intermediate non contractile fiber. So the smooth muscle contains three types of fiber: actin, myosin, and Intermediate non contractile fiber. Here you can see these are the intermediate non contractile fiber which join the two dense bodies. These filaments are not arranged in a regular pattern as in striated muscle. Here you can see in striated muscle the uh, sarcomere are arranged uh, in regular pattern. Then after one uh, uh, sarcomere the other stored in the same uh, fashion or in uh, in regular uh, fashion but here in the smooth muscle these dense bodies the actin myosins are scattered in the cell some of the dense bodies are attached to the uh, cell membrane other are scattered inside the cell and to attach them is the Actin and in between them are the myosin filaments. Structure of the smooth muscle are composed of smaller fiber, usually 3 to 5 micrometer in diameter, and only 20 to 500 micrometer in length. Here you can see 3 to 5 multiplied by 10 power minus 6. So you can imagine the thickness of the or the diameter of the smooth muscle and the length is 20 to 500 
micrometer. In contrast, skeletal muscle fiber are as much as 30 times greater in diameter and hundreds of times as long. So, the skeletal muscle are 30 times thick and hundreds times long, longer than the smooth muscle. Why they are called smooth muscle? Smooth muscle are made of thick and thin filament that are not oriented into sarcomeres. The smooth muscle lay the sarcomere and resulting in a non striated pattern. So they are arranged in non striated pattern. They look uh, homogeneous. Uh, microscopic, microscopically, they appear to be homogeneous and hence named smooth muscle. They are, they are, uh, you can see that all the cells are of the same shape and structure. The spindle, they have a central nucleus and a same background. They have no strip like in the uh, skeletal muscles. Contractile mechanism in the smooth muscle. Like striated muscle, smooth muscle can tense and relax. This is the relaxed form in, in relaxed status and here it is in a uh, contracted or tense status. It does not contain the normal troponin complex actin and myosin filament interact with each other in much the same way that they do in the skeletal muscle. Here uh, they have actin and myosin filament. These are the actin, the thin filament and in between these two filaments actin we have the myosin filament and in the skeletal muscle as these actin and myosin filament uh, overlap each other and in this way the muscle contract. The same is here in the uh, smooth muscle that the actin and the myosin filament overlap each other and cause contraction of the muscle. But here one thing is that it uh, is lacking troponin and this troponin is replaced by thalmodulin. The logical basis of smooth muscle contraction. The thin actin filaments are anchored by dense bodies. These are the dense bodies and the thin filaments are anchored to or attached to these dense bodies. A dense body is analog to the Z disc of the skeletal and cordate muscle fiber and is fashioned to the sarcolemma. Sarcolemma is the cell membrane of the muscle cell. So these dense bodies are attached to the sarcolemma, some are scattered in, inside the cell. And sarcolemma has a uh, characteristic like a neuronal cell, they are excitable. And when stimulated, they are they become excited. Calcium are supplied by a sarcoplasmic reticulum in the fibers and by sequestration from the extracellular root through membrane indentation called alveoli. In the membrane, there are indentation. These indentations are called alveoli, and in these alveoli, we have the calcium. Some of these bodies are attached to the cell membrane; other are dispersed and dispersed in the cell. Here you can see that some of these dense bodies are attached to cell membrane, or other are dispersed inside the cell. These are the alveoli and the, they are analog to the tubule of the uh, skeletal muscle. They are very short, they are, they are 50 to 90 nanometer and they are plus shaped and they are envisioning in the cell membrane and appear and are in, in uh, uh, Orange in rows 
and between these uh, ten alloy, uh, ten alloy, ten alloy, we uh, there are scattered dense bodies. They have calcium and when stimulated, they release calcium like the tissue. The calcium is released from the tissue. So in when these muscles are stimulated, calciums are released to the uh, inside of the cell from these uh, cannula. Intracellular protein bridges. Some of the membrane dense body of adjacent cell are bound together by the intracellular protein bridges. This this is the cell muscle cell and this is the muscle cell of uh, other muscle cell. They are attached to each other, the dense bodies are attached to each other by proteins and by, by this attachment the uh, membrane activation is transferred from one cell to the other cell. The force of contraction is transfer, transferred from one cell to the next to these bonds. They are borne by these uh, dense bodies and there are some special proteins which bind them and these proteins actually transmit the uh, contract, force of contraction from one cell to the other cell. Myosin filament Interspread among the actin filament in the muscle fiber are myosin filaments. These are the actin filaments here you can see and between here is myosin filament. Large number of actin filaments radiate from two dense bodies. This, here is a dense body and above and below there are dense bodies, two dense bodies in from these dense bodies, large number of actin are uh, emerging or radiating, and between these actin or between these dense bodies, we have the myosin filament. The end of these filaments overlap a myosin filament located midway between the dense body. Between the dense body, we have the myosin filament, and the actin filament overlap these myosin. Side polar cross bridges. Most of the myosin filaments have side polar cross bridges around so that the bridges one on one side hang in one direction and those of the other side hang in the opposite direction. Here you can see that the uh, myosin head is composed of two parts, neck and the head and tail. The tail made the thick portion and the neck and the head is uh, composed of thin portion. So, on suppose on this is the le left side and this is the right side. On, on left side you can see that these bridges are bending to upward and on the right side they are bending uh, uh, downward. Here you can see they are uh, bending towards the uh, left and here they are bending towards the left. So in this, uh, when they are activated, so they pull the action towards the left and the, the other on the other side they pull the action element to the right and this in this way they cause contraction of the muscle. This is a good example. You may have seen the pool protective covering. Uh, the when pulled are covered by these uh, covers. These covers are just like the smooth muscle. You can see that some fibers are uh, running in this direction and other fibers are running in the this direction. Some are left and some are running to the right. This is the relaxed state of the smooth uh, the of this uh, protective core.
the same when the smooth muscles are relaxed they are in this form they are as we uh, already mentioned that they are wide in the middle and tapering towards the end they are spindle shape and when they contract so these fiber one fiber move uh, in the left direction and the other move on the right direction in this way contraction of the smooth muscle occurs so this is a good example of smooth muscle uh, uh, physiological characteristic thank you hoping you may have learned something from this lecture please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for upcoming notification thank you once again